Recording has started. Hi, everyone. Uh, Demit, can you uh, make sure that this uh, is full screen? It is full screen. OK. So welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm Session 2. Uh, we are dividing this session into two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, four sessions. Session two will cover singly linked list. Session two, one will cover doubly linked list. Session three of two dot three, that is, will cover the circular list. And two dot four will take an example of frame management as part of usage of linked list. So with that, I will hand over to uh, Jamit to start the session on data structure and algorithm, session two, one, singly linked list. Go ahead. Thank you. So thank you, Professor, for the introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. So this is the uh, uh, single linguist presentation. Uh, we will be discussing uh, only single linguist, a bit of introduction and uh, a code. So let's get started. So first is uh, what is a list? A list is the number of connected items or names uh, written or printed consecutively, typically uh, one below the other, as you can see in the diagram. So what we uh, so what are the applications of uh, list when we talk in terms of the implementation of it in the uh, in a computer sense so we have mailing list which uh, which are linked list of uh, addresses for sending messages by email then scroll list each element storing the data for one item in the scroll list then polynomials for storing each and every term of polynomial then memory management a linked list to keep track of available memory. Then Lisp, which is Lisp processor, which makes extensive use of uh, linked list in uh, performing symbolic of processing. Link allocation of files. Only for sequential access, each block of file contains a pointer to the uh, file's next block. Then other data structures which use of uh, list or uh, linked list are uh, stacks, queues, stats, hash tables, and graphs. So what are th these linked lists that we have mentioned in these examples. So linked list refers to numbers of uh, elements grouped or linked together in a specific order. They are useful for maintaining collection of data similar to arrays uh, with the advantage of uh, dynamic allocation of uh, storage at runtime and more efficient in performing insertions and deletion operations. So first, first the topic of this uh, uh, very presentation is uh, singly linked list. So singly linked list, uh, usually simply called linked list, are composed of uh, uh, individual elements, each linked by a single pointer. Each element consists of two parts, which is a data part or data member and a and a pointer called the next pointer, which points to the next element in the list. Now, uh, now the list have. Uh, uh, you can see the diagram of the list. Uh, the first element is called the head uh, head part, and the last element is called the tail part. Where, where as mentioned here, that uh, uh, each element has two parts. The last elements uh, data part, and the last elements have a data part also, and next part also. The last elements next part will be pointing towards null value. Uh, uh, meaning that it's the end of the list. So for the implementation of the linked list, uh, we are going to have uh, an approach how Kyle Luden has uh, implemented it. So first, we'll be discussing about uh, how, uh, how the linked list can be initialized. So list in it does that. It takes in the a uh, pointer list of a uh, struct list, then uh, a void destroy pointer in order to remove each and every element from the uh, for uh, element from the list, and uh, uh, data pointer in order to read the data. 
then then we have uh, the way we are going to insert or uh, have the insertion or deletion operation in the list is uh, by um, by uh, uh, doing with the help of a list insert next or list remove next what it basically mean is that we will be selecting an element and the deletion or insertion operation will be happening in the element after the selected element so if i show it in a diagram this is uh, what i mean that uh, if let's say we have uh, this uh, this diagram and uh, this is the this is the list that uh, we have we are only moving from one direction we are only moving in one direction which is uh, from head to tail so if we are uh, so the way we are going to do the insertion and removal operation is uh, by uh, selecting the element so if we are selecting this uh, element which has content 10 in it or uh, uh, or uh, address 100 in it then the insertion or removal will be happening in this element if we select this element the insertion and removal will be happening in this element the reason is simple because uh, uh, we want to have a reference for the next because if the insertion is happening in the head element then it does not have any uh, reference if we do it in the present element or the previous element uh, and to keep the link of uh, head element to point towards uh, the next element in in case of uh, insertion and removal operation on the head that is the reason we are doing element in insert next or element remove next and as i mentioned that tail element uh, tail elements the next pointer will be point, uh, will be given the null in the uh, null value so so uh, so this is uh, so uh, our next uh, uh, content is a list insert next as I mentioned that uh, we'll be inserting the element uh, just after the element that is specified or we have selected and, and then similar to that is the, the removal of it uh, list remove next does the same thing that uh, it removes the element which is selected after the after the element that is selected and then list destroy in order to destroy the rest then we have list size, list head. List size uh, is the macro that evaluates the number of elements present in the list. List head macro evaluates the element at the head of the list. And both of, both of their kind of complexity are a big of one, as you can see. Next is the next is a list is head and list is tail. Both of the macros evaluates whether the given element is a head or tail respectively and both of the time complexity is big of one then list data macro evaluates the data stored in the element of the linked list specified the specified by the pointer element then list next macro evaluates the element of a linked list follow uh, following the element specified by the uh, pointer element and both of their uh, uh, time complexity which is uh, list data and list next uh, time complexity is big of one so now we'll be referring to the code of a singly linked list so uh, this is the this is the header file that we will be creating in order to go, uh, have our uh, common operations being uh, specified over here first we are uh, defining the structure for can the you, list can you expand elements. a bit can you size increase the size on this? Is it uh, good enough? Yeah, a little bit. Mm, it is. So the comments are not visible. Just, yeah. just, just a second. Just a second. I can do one thing. No, no. This is better. Better. This is better. Uh, is it uh, okay? Yeah, it is visible. Yeah, good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, so this is the header file that uh, uh, we that will be storing our uh, uh, most usual and normal operations regarding the singly linked list. 
So first we will be defining the uh, structure for the list elements. Uh, you can see this. And then we'll be uh, with having the data to store the data of the element and the next pointer. Next, we will be defining the structure of the list, this, this whole part. So, and, and we'll be defining list as uh, the member of it. And uh, other one is a list in it that we talked about and passing in the list, this one, and uh, the pointer list. Destroy for destroying the list and data for reading the data. Let's destroy. Uh, separately, we will call it on each and every member of the list and passing in the list uh, as an argument. Then list insert and list remove next, as uh, I mentioned, that uh, uh, they, are the, uh, they are the insertion and, and deletion operations, which will be uh, happening on the specified after the specified element. And these are the other uh, macros that we discussed, uh, which are uh, uh, self-explanatory in the name, by the name, uh, what uh, they do. Uh, size defines the di size, uh, defines what is the head of the list and tail and so on. So these are the contents of the header file. Now let's move to the code of the code that is .c file. Just to say, and let me just uh, magnify the. Okay. So these are the header files that we needed. And uh, list.h is our own header file that we have made, this one. Actually, uh, list.h is uh, another header file uh, with the same contents as this, but because I've added the uh, comments, uh, comments over here, that is the reason it's uh, just telling test list.h, but you can save it as uh, list.h as well. <coughs> so we start by initializing the uh, initializing our uh, list uh, with these values, and you can uh, you can also see all, all of the comments uh, uh, signifying what the each and every line does. Then uh, first we uh, first we uh, discuss about the uh, destroy and destroying the list. Uh, we pass the list as the argument and data in order to reach in each and every word. Uh, and, uh, sorry, uh, data in order to uh, temporarily store the data that is uh, being removed. First, uh, as uh, we are destroying each and every element of the list, so uh, we'll be using the while loop. And as far as there are elements within the list, we'll be uh, continuing to remove the element. So uh, this is the one that will be uh, uh, that will be executed. And you can see the whole block now. Uh, this is a precautionary measure that is taken in order to uh, keep uh, uh, delist or uh, remove the uh, storage, uh, residual storage. Then uh, this is the list insert next uh, for insertion of the list. And the insertion can be happening uh, in two ways in single links. One is uh, at head, and one is uh, on uh, any other place other than head. So first, uh, for inserting a new element, we have to first uh, type struct uh, point, uh, point a new element. So uh, this uh, this is what. Uh, uh, so first, we will be using the malloc in order to get the space, and if it's unsuccessful, it will. Uh, return minus one then and then first uh, we give uh, give it a uh, uh, set the data of the new element to be provided then if element equals to null which means that insertion is happening at the head 
then this is the block that will be uh, this is the block that will be executed if the element element is uh, anywhere else other than the head then this is the uh, this is the block that will be executed and because uh, we are inserting an element uh, so uh, the size will be increasing by one and so uh, we are incrementing the size of list by one next is let's remove net uh, let's remove next which is uh, uh, which will take the same kind of uh, arguments as uh, list insert next but uh, we'll be using old element in order to temporarily store the removing element uh, in old element in order to keep the referencing uh, in order to help us keep the reference uh, of uh, different other pointers and then deallocating once the link of uh, everyone has been properly done so first uh, if the removal is happening in the head then this is the uh, this is the condition to check first and then if it's uh, the removal is happening in the head then this is the block that will be uh, executed if the removal is not happening at the head then uh, or anywhere uh, other than head then this is the block that will be happening uh, that will be executed and you can see the whole explanation of the of the block okay so after the uh, after the removal of the element um, as i told that uh, we are storing it in old element uh, the element that we are going to remove so we are seeing with it with the free function and then passing the old element as the argument and because we are removing we will be decrementing the size of the list by one and return zero for the successful uh, execution so so the uh, yeah so this is it for the single linked list for the time uh, next next up will be double linked list and the circular list uh, which uh, both will be covered in separately so this was the 2 1 uh, next will be 2 2 for the double linked list thanks a lot for uh, listening